Hey guys, my name is Vivek Sharma and today we can cover this problem that's called the binary search tree iterator. So this is kind of the design kind of the question where we have to design some iterator that can iterate the binary search tree, right? So there are two operations that uh, the expectation is uh, next that will return always the next smallest element and has next that will return whether it's having the uh, whether uh, binary search tree still have the elements or not, right? So if we see here, let's say if we are having this binary search tree that's having uh, this is four, so two, three, four, right? And if I'm calling the next element, next method, then it should return two first of all, and then next will return three. And if I call has next, then it should return true because it's still having four, right? And then if I, so this is first call, this is second call for the next, and third call for the next, that will return four, right? And after inputting all this uh, binary search tree, if I call has next, right? So has next uh, should return uh, false because there is no element now, right? So in this kind of the, uh, so in this kind of the problem we have to take some kind of the data structure that we can maintain this data structure and the reason of that data structure so that we can store our value and then we can just decide accordingly that what we need to do right so binary tree basically it's the recursive kind of thing so better approach better data structure will be the stack i think that's a well suited and that will be a little more convenient to handle this kind of scenario so we can take the stack and then we can just uh, check if stack is not fully empty then it's it means it's having it's still having the element and if stack is empty we can say that okay it's empty it means uh, uh, we can return false right so uh, because the stack is empty means there is nothing to iterate right and if a stack is not empty then we can just basically just uh, uh, keep returning the next element so the way we can returning the next element next is smallest element right so next is smallest element every time we need to push in the stack the uh, right node so whenever we will push the right right node uh, right node we will be pushing after popping right so every time whenever we will be pushing in the stack we will just go deep in the left side why we will go deep in the left side so that we can just keep track of the smallest element okay and when we will be popping what we will do we will be just pushing the right child so that right child uh, will have the next smallest element and that's the reason we will be pushing the uh, right child so that it will again just uh, follow the same loop that in that loop basically we will just keep pushing the left node till deep so that we will have the track of the next smallest element so if this is not clear if i if i am making you confuse i apologize for that but for the to narrow down this problem basically we can just think of to take the stack dump all the values till the left uh, all uh, till the leaves till the left all just keep traversing till the left and just keep pushing in the stack that's the one thing has next basically if stack is empty or not that's a has next and for the next also we just pop from the stack and just return that's it so that's a very simpler uh, way and let's try to implement the same thing then we will just uh, uh, move from there okay so let's take uh, first of all our stack so private and then let's take this stack then it will have tree node this is a stack and a stack equals to let's initialize this okay so while initializing uh, while creating this uh, object itself we want to push everything in the stack so that we will have the keep track of the next and has next right so let's create uh, another method that's called the push all and then it will take p node root and then basically if while root is not equals to null then basically just go ahead and push into the stack stack dot push root right 
go to the left side root equals to root dot f so this way we are just pushing all the stack all the root basically to the stack so this way we will have the root uh, on the top of the stack we will have the smallest element right has next we already discussed like we can just uh, check if a stack is empty or not right so if a stack is if a stack is uh, empty is not empty then it means it's having the smallest element and if it is empty then it means it does not have right so we are just checking if it is not empty means that's a true always should be not empty then it will have the next smallest element right so it will return true if it is not empty and if it is stack is empty it will return false because there is nothing to it right so in the next as we discussed earlier what we can do we can just take pop stack dot pop right and just go ahead and return this value that's it well right so this is our next element now uh, as we discussed earlier after popping we just want to keep track of the next smallest element as well right so for example uh, if i pop this two right there is nothing in the right so i will just push the null itself that's fine right but uh, if in this case of three three is the root and the next smallest i already got two and for example i have three right and the next smallest element will be always on the right side it will not be on the left side because left side we already iterated and we already got the next smallest element right uh, i mean the current smallest element and for the next smallest element it will always on the on the right side so we want to push the right uh, uh, right child so what we will do hashtag dot post now dot right so we will be just pushing the node dot right and uh, this is push all actually so what we will do it here just call push all that's it push all node dot right so this guy will take the node dot right and every time then it will just uh, keep pushing all the left child as well so the next smallest element it will have on the top of the stack basically right and that's the idea so we will just go keep going deep in the left side okay so i think that's uh, pretty much it and let's uh, see if there is any compiler error and all empty stack exception okay very good let's see where it is so stack empty exception definitely we need to make a check as well right so if uh, stack dot pop where we are doing some mistakes so if root is not equals to null and yeah definitely so we basically need to this uh, because stack will definitely is empty because we did not push anything so while uh, in the constructor itself we need to push all the elements in the stack right then only we can just uh, check next and has next without storing it it does not make any sense to check has next or next right so it was throwing the exception that's why so now let's see i think uh, we got whatever the output we had to get and let's try to run this if it is getting submitted okay so that's good it's not uh, that much efficient maybe but uh, i think uh, we are fulfilling some of the requirements if not all so what we are doing it here when we are just uh, time complexity wise if i see the time complexity of the next iterator right so in the next basically what i am doing i am just going uh, till all the way left basically i am just popping and just returning and then again pushing right so basically it will be the order of n because uh, roughly in the worst case it can be the all the nodes right so if we if we consider the worst case or average case it can be the order of n but uh, generally if uh, there is nothing in the right or one or two then it will be pretty fast right in this case has next will be of always the order of one so this complexity will be order of one because uh, we are just checking whether stack is empty or not right and overall uh, designing this class and all that will take complexity is order of n uh, because we are just going till the left basically and in the worst case it can be the if it's having only the left 
left children right it does not have in the right children in that case it will be the all the nodes right so that's why we are say, saying it will be the order of n and space complexity wise also we are maintaining the stack so it will be the order of n itself right and the similar thing is space complexity here is also we are just using the stack so it will be also the order of n right and uh, of course this is also we are using the stack right so everywhere wherever we are using the stack it will be the order of n right so that's the complexity analysis and that's the iterator thing that that this is how we can just uh, design the iterator uh, for the binary search tree however it is asking that next and has next should run in the average of o one time so we are just kind of the meeting this expectation has next is already order of uh, one but it's saying order of h and all and next is also like so we are just doing the vice versa so this is kind of the order of h and order of uh, this is order of n uh, order of one basically has next and this is we can say order of h because uh, uh, we are going till the height of the tree right so every time we are just going till the height whatever the height of the tree so we can say that it's order of h basically to meeting this requirement but i was considering order of n because if in the worst case we are having only the left child left children or right children then in that case worst case will be the order of n so let me mention it here as well worst case will be order of n right but average case will be the order of h or log n so log n log n and h they are same height of the tree so i hope uh, it's clear but uh, just try to throw other ideas or if we can make it more fast or just just let me know the other ideas so that i can also learn from you guys thank you very much bye